use the phrasal verb fall through when talking about plans that don't happen or when there's some sort of a, an accident and a person or a thing goes through a surface. So here's a surface and then something happens and someone or something goes through or falls through. Our plans fell through. This is perhaps the most common way of using fall through. Here it is in the past tense. There were expectations, the plans, and something didn't happen. The plans fell through, leading to disappointment or someone is unhappy because they thought something was going to happen, but then it didn't. Use fall through for plans. Here are some examples of things that are planned. Events, weddings, deals, business deals, trips, negotiations. These are usually things that are big and planned in advance. So it could be uh, a wedding, which is a pretty big event. The wedding fell through. Or it could be a deal between two people or two companies. The deal fell through. That would be similar perhaps to negotiations, which happen between companies and countries. It could be a trip. It could be a small trip to the beach the trip fell through. And any kind of a big event, the event fell through due to some circumstance. In the simple form, fall through. In the past tense, fell through. As a past participle, fallen through. The deal fell through due to a lack of, and here is the reason, a lack of planning. So there wasn't this, or there's a lack of money, or a lack of effort, or there could be a lack of interest. If there's no interest, then the deal will fall through. I don't want this to fall through. Here's the infinitive. So this is said when a person wants something to happen. We need to plan carefully so that this doesn't fall through. And here's the present tense and it's negative. So fall through here is in the simple form. The negotiations haven't fallen through yet. They're ongoing. This means that they are continuing. The negotiations have not stopped. This is negative in the present perfect tense. Here is the past participle, fallen through. His legal argument fell through because it wasn't supported by the facts. Here, fell through is in the past tense. This is often heard when someone is talking about a trial or some sort of a legal situation. You'll also hear fall through when something goes through a surface of some type. So, for example, this could be ice, frozen water, a frozen lake or river, and this is weak in this area, and then a person falls through the ice and goes into the water. You can also fall through the roof of a house if there's something here that's weak, and 
It could be anything, a person or a thing, falls through the roof, or it could fall through the ceiling, or if there's a weakened floor, something can fall through the floor. Be careful. If you don't watch your step, you might fall through. Here's the modal verb might, and then this is in the simple form. And this is an expression. If you don't watch your step, if you don't watch carefully when you are walking, you might fall through. He fell through the cracks. This is an expression that is often used when a person doesn't get support from social institutions or some organization that's providing help. The cracks would be the system. Kids who don't get any support often fall through the cracks. The result isn't good. The result could mean that these people end up in prison or some other really bad situation.